Hi. I'll try and explain this as quickly as possible. Go to page 86 of the Voice Live 3 Extreme Manual. It's about USB inputs. USB input mode. There are three modes. It explains it there. Uh, now, if you need further instruction, keep watching. Uh, all you need is one little cable like this, USB, and uh, whatever that is, like a camera USB or whatever it's called. So one cable that goes in the back of the Voice Live 3 Extreme, you'll find where it goes. I don't need an audio interface for my computer, and I don't need any kind of mixer, so I'm saving hundreds of dollars. And the audio quality, I don't know how good it is. I've heard it's CD quality or something like that. It's good enough for me at this stage. All right, so I'm going to plug this in now. Now I will show you the setting that we need to adjust in the Voice Live 3 Extreme to get it working so I can record my individual tracks and uh, make my song track by track. To my Voice Live 3 Extreme, I'll focus on the screen in a moment. So we click Setup. Okay, go into the setup menu. That's the one you want, the USB mode DAW tracking. So in the input tab, USB mode DAW tracking. Um, this is version version 2.2.0 build 366. We go back to input, DAW tracking is what we want. Now this will do what I need it to do. Also, um, the other option here is stereo. And that is good, but uh, it's not good for recording your music track by track because it also records the sound that it gets back from the computer. Uh, that's right, so in case you didn't know, that little cable I showed you earlier will also send the sound from your computer to your Voice Live 3 Extreme. So you can listen to it through your headphones or through your amplifier. We don't want stereo because then if we do it track by track, our tracks are going to be re-recording themselves again and again. So DAW tracking. There's one more option here which I don't know exactly what it does. Uh, I've read about it but I don't fully understand. And if you're interested I'll now show you how to use this with Audacity. This is what I recorded earlier. File new. Okay, I have already set up my latency. If you want to latency because um, there is a little bit of a a lag between the recording and what gets recorded on the computer which throws everything off. If you want to know how to set that up for Audacity then you can look at the other video that I mentioned in the description of this video. So let's have a look. We want a new track. We're going to generate a rhythm track, just a click track, and we want it to be 110 beats per minute. That'll do. Okay, um, now we want to add a new track. Stereo track. Add a new stereo track. Uh, and I'm going to record into that. Now up the top here it says click to start monitoring. Do that. But the first thing I'm going to do is lay down the guitar rhythm. So I'm going to unplug the microphone. To make sure my guitar's coming in. Okay, that's my that's my guitar there. Alright. Now I'm going to Click record here, wait four beats, and then start playing, and then stop. Uh, let's to click record. following the click track. <laughs> Doesn't matter for this demonstration. Stop recording. Now I'll lay down a beat with my uh, with my drum machine. So you can see I've got that guitar stereo track. I add a new track for my drum machine. Tracks, add new stereo track. Maybe you just want a mono, I don't know. But stereo track will do. Okay, and here's my drum machine over here. Boss DR880. It's pretty cool. Play this and put a drum beat down on it. I haven't got my audio set up properly for feedback, uh, but that doesn't matter for this demonstration. OK, 
Okay, stop. Now I've got my drum track there. Uh, and now I just want to add some vocals. So I'll plug my record. I won't say I love you prematurely. I won't say I love you, I will just be me. I can't say I love you, ooh, because I am not available, baby. All right, so now I have at the top, I have my click track, which I don't need anymore. So I have my three recorded tracks straight from my Voice Live 3 Extreme to my computer without an audio interface or anything. We can see that the vocal seems a bit low, so I'll have to amplify or something. And when I was doing this, I didn't really have my levels set very well, so you probably couldn't hear it very well. But you get the idea. So let's just play this back now. So that's it. Now I can export that track and I'll have my stereo uh, single MP3 or WAV file or what have you. So that is it for the Voice Live 3 Extreme. You don't need an audio interface. You don't need a mixer. Well, if you do it properly, I suppose. And uh, all you need is this cable. I'll show you one more time before we finish. USB, that little one there. And then one more time, you want input. DAW tracking and then you're good to go. Thanks for watching and uh, click the like button if you like it and click subscribe if you're crazy.